Hey guys, Mr. Rubertator here. Um, first thing I want to start off with is part of my contest, more news, not drawings. Um, in the middle of it, YouTube got rid of VRs because it's stupid, although, I don't know, whatever the replacement is could be better, but I don't know yet. So anyways, um, I wrote down all the names I could remember and that I saw in my inbox for everyone who entered my contest. Uh, I'm going to do the drawing about Saturday afternoon. I'll try and post the video up Saturday afternoon or Sunday. So you have till Saturday afternoon to message me. Um, PM me. I'll send you something back letting you know I got it. Um, if you don't get a response from me, I don't know if YouTube messed it up. Leave a comment on my contest video too. I guess if you want and say, hey, you got me, I'll write your name. I have Turtle Ray 8, Richard Finch, Eric Trenton World. Angela's brand new bag, Lead Crayon, Nathan Campbell, None Your Damn Business, Pole Climber 1985, Man with the Plan Harlow, Piper McG, and Diesel Wrench 4. I'm not sure if that's everyone because I, I feel like I'm missing people, but maybe I'm not. So you have till Saturday afternoon to message me before I take my drawing. So just make sure you get a hold of me. Um, and then I've also decided to do a Music City Pipe Show and Sale top video. I don't know if it's going to be 10. I'm just going to name stuff up, up off the top of my head that I can remember that I thought was cool or that I really enjoyed. Um, number one. This is in no particular order, by the way. Um, number one. Um, we got there Thursday evening. It was dark, about 9 o'clock or so, 9.30 and so it was dark couldn't really see and we had to set our tents up um, without even really knowing anybody besides Boontar and Skipsy uh, John Northern Bohemian and Tom the diabetic man might be a 13 on the end of that not sure sorry Tom um, they came helped us set up our tents you know I had borrowed my friend's tent because we didn't know who all was coming to the campgrounds so I borrowed my friend's six person tent and whoever wanted to camp with me could camp in my tent so they come over, you know, I set it up once before, so I wasn't sure how to set it up, especially not in the dark. Um, but they came over, and I said, yeah, come on here, we'll help you set up your tent, you know, helping me put the rods in, get it standing up, and they were just super nice. It, uh, it meant a lot to me. I mean, it was just nice knowing, just, they just, no problem whatsoever, super polite, like, didn't even know me, just, yeah, here, come on, we'll help you set up your tent. So um, that was uh special moment for me just that knowing people in our community were really helpful like that because I don't think you could get that on just any random occasion so thanks Tom and John so that was special um, another thing would be this this is diabetic man's own blend that he calls Frankensnuff it's really good it's got menthol and then it mellows out and it's sweet I don't want to say what's in it because I don't know if he cares but anyways I'm trying to preserve it because it's like killing a unicorn, but it's so good, it's hard not to do it. Um, another thing is, I went down to the pipe show and I only have check tampers and golf tees. And now I come back and I have a bunch of handmade tampers. Um, a green Nathan Campbell tamper, the snuff spoon. Uh, Angela and Eric were passing these out at Camp Pipe Presenter, which you all missed out on if you didn't go. Um, also, if you want to see my pictures, I don't know if you're on Instagram. I am Ubertator on Instagram. No mister, just the Ubertator. So you can check out my pictures I posted. Um, I won this on Friday from Big Star. For, um, they had a hashtag contest on Instagram. I don't remember who makes this. It's Steven something. I'm um, sorry, but that's a cool tamper. And my fourth win. Red acrylic with another bullet casing. Um, this one's from Briarbird. Let me just say, I love Briarbird not just because of my pipe, but because Jason is a super nice guy. Um, friends with him on Facebook. Send him a message saying, hey, you know, I know you're going to be at the pipe show. I was like, can you bring down a tamper, or I don't know if you're bringing tampers, but if you bring me one, I'll buy it from you. And he's like, yeah, that sounds fine. 
So he brings one down, and you know he asked what color stem I wanted, and I said red, and he said if he had some, he'd make one for me. So that's what he had, and he made it. And you know, get down there, and I'm like, what do I owe you? Nothing. Really? Yep. Free of charge. He just gave me a tamper just because. So super nice guy. I mean, I I've, I've sat and I've talked to Jason a couple different times. He's just such a cool, down to earth guy. So. Jason, thank you for this. Also, if you see this, start your YouTube account. We talked about this at Big Star when you were in your pipe, indie pipe maker group session that they did. So everybody wants you to make one, so you should make one. No matter if you feel like an idiot in front of the camera, because we all do. So, um, and that leads me to another one of my moments as I was sitting talking with uh, Jason and Mike Lancaster, Mike TPC. And it was just nice sitting and talking to them. Uh, Mike's a super cool guy, super down to earth. Talked with him and Jason for at least probably an hour and a half. It was just cool sitting and talking to hearing what they have to say from an indie pipe maker and a guy that's starting a pipe web, has a running and working pipe website and a pipe club and a, just he's got it going on. So that was really cool. Um, I got this. Saturday at Uptowns, a Castleford pipe bag. Um, this front pouch, put tobacco in, got a carrying handle, which I don't use. I think it's weird. That's just me. Then, you can open it. Holds oh, four pipes, but I currently have three in there. I have more than three pipes. A couple of them I have, I let my friends borrow before the pipe show and I didn't get them back before I went down. Check tamper in there. And then you have uh, up here, I got a couple lighters in there, Bix, and pipe cleaners underneath that. And then you got this, I don't know what you can put there, but that's there. Maybe a pouch of tobacco. And then I have, that's a pouch that you can put stuff in as well. So it's cool I like it because um, I've looked at I've looked at pouches online before um, they're not cheap but this was a steal it uptowns 25 bucks for a four pipe pipe bag um, so and you know the problem with buying them online you spend $25 on a, on a pipe bag online you're like uh, what kind of quality am I getting you know you have some that run hundred and hundred dollars some maybe even more than that so you're like what am I getting if I'm paying 25 bucks for one but so look at this like it seems like a quality made pipe bag so that's super cool like that um other favorite moments from the pipe show would be um I met Mel she's cool sat and talked with her on Friday a little bit at Uptown or at Big Star sorry and then I sat and talked with her again on Saturday at Uptowns. Um, another thing to remember, Dion loves wheat beer. We found that out Thursday night at the campfire at Camp Pipe Presenter. He loves wheat beer. <laughs> just keep that in mind. Um, if you just if you didn't go to Camp Pipe Presenter, you missed out. Um, Friday morning, Shadrack breakfast. That was awesome. Shadrack came, made us all breakfast. I woke up at I'd say 7:30 ish, and woke up and come out of the tent. And Boomtar walks over and he goes, "Hey, I'm down there talking with Shadrach. You want to come down?" <sighs> of course. So went down. Loved meeting Shadrach. He's a super cool guy. Um, he made his breakfast free of charge. He he brought everything. He brought the eggs. He brought uh, bacon, um, maybe even some sausage, peppers, and he just made it. And he was like free breakfast for you guys uh -huh. sitting and talking to him and then we took up a donation for the Atlanta kids cancer fund I don't remember exactly what it was called but we took up a donation gave him some money for that since he cooked us all breakfast um, figured we should at least try and give him something in return so that was nice um, Sunday was the music city pipe show after after party um, consisted of me with Boontar and Skipsy. That was another thing. I was their child. 
I was their adopted child for the weekend. My name was Tyler. There should be weekend. And Mr. J.M. Harris Jr. on Instagram. I don't know if that's his YouTube name. I'm sorry. Johnny. Um, his name was Jimmy. And if you saw Sister Skipsy's video, you know that. Also, side note, uh, in case you didn't know, which I'm guessing most of you who are my subscribers and do watch my videos, um, I am on Instagram under the name Ubertator. No Mr. Um, just Ubertator. So you can find me on Instagram. You can see all my pictures I posted from the pipe show on there. You also only have to search the hashtag Music City Pipe Show. Or MCPS. I don't remember what all we put for it. But if you search it, you will find my pictures. Um, and I think I'm um, a public profile, so you don't even have to request to follow me. Just, I don't care who follows me. If you want to look at my pictures, that's cool. Um, I met Mark and Amber. They're both super nice people. Um, loved meeting them. They were at... Uh, the they stayed with us Friday night at the Camp Pipe Presenter Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. That happened on Saturday. Uh, I'm a heavy sleeper, so I didn't know any of this happened until I woke up on Saturday and I was informed of it. Um, apparently, we heard they heard geese somewhere over by the campsite Saturday, and then about 15 minutes later, they heard like sporadic gunfire for like. 20 to 30 minutes of like over 50 rounds just being shot off um, just to give you an idea of how heavy of a sleeper I am back when I was in high school we were staying at a friend's house he has a uh, detached garage it's like his dad's workshop and there's a furnace in there so we would just go in there and play video games and whatever and we if we crashed in there it was no big deal to his dad well we crashed in there I was the first one to fall asleep one night they put a leaf blower in my face and turned it on full blast and I woke up long enough to acknowledge that it happened and I turned my head and I went back to sleep so I had no idea that this duck hunt happened but I was informed of it when I woke up by a couple different people so I think World War 3 could happen and I would sleep through it but so a duck hunt happened out by Camp Pipe Presenter so that's another interesting fact that happened um, other cool moments. Grandpa. Grandpa made an appearance at Camp Pride Presenter. Dumbass. Which brings up another point. Hashtag. Hashtag everything. Uh, Skipsy explains how it started with Boontar doing something and saying, hashtag, my life sucks. <laughs> it turned into Saturday and Sunday of just anything you said, you just put a hashtag in front of. So if you were hungry for food, hashtag I'm hungry, hashtag let's go eat, hashtag what's going on, man. So <laughs> that was another moment that had occurred during uh, the pipe show. Um, I think that's, oh no. See, my problem is I ramble, and this is already a long video, so I'm sorry guys, and I hope you watch it, but I never told you the Music City Pipe Show after after party. I get, like here's thought A. And then I quickly transfer to thought B without transferring to thought A, and then thought C, and then thought D, and then after thought D, I go back to A, and then I touch back on C, and then back on B, and it's, I'm sorry. I am deeply sorry. I apologize. So just bear with me in my thought process. I'm not, we're all different. But uh, Music City After After Party. Sunday was cool. Um, consisted of me, Boontar, Skipsy, Burly Man Fort, and his wife, Jana. Uh, Stash Warden and his mom, Joe Mama. That's what she told me to call him, Joe Mama. Uh, Mr. Joe Case, Pam Case, and Dagnus. And I think that was everybody who was there for the Sunday after after party. It was cool. Uh, we walked, went downtown, walked to a different couple shops. We went to uh, the Gorin Hat Brothers shop. Um, we went to a restaurant and had a drink the guys had beer a beer I mean, it wouldn't and if you follow Dagner which I'm assuming you do you saw Boontar just chug his beer sampler that he got <laughs> just shoot it like it was nothing um, and we walked around which went to, we went to the Harley store went to a couple of different things um, so it was nice getting into a smaller group and getting to just talk and pick at people you know 
talk to him, get to find out about him and whatnot. So that was cool, uh, getting to be involved with that with all those people. Um, and just, it was nice. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It was nice. So that was really cool. Um, and Saturday, it after Uptowns, me, Boontar, Skipsy, and Jimmy, J.M. Harris Jr., my cousin Jimmy, because he was my cousin, since Skipsy and Boontar adopted me, um, we went to Smoker's Abbey for the after party, for the after after party. And we went and talked with, uh, I went and I was talking with uh, Scooter, 083 Joshua, um, or the 083 Jumpy, if you saw Boondar's video, Scott Sparky Pipes, and Chris, I don't know his YouTube, heads up, Southern Fried Pipe Club, sat and talked with uh, Sparky's Pipes, and that was cool getting to talk to him and just pick his brain about pipes, how he makes them, and we talked about beer, and then they proceeded to make fun of Caps. Let me explain something. They were making fun of it because Caps meets in Kentucky and it's the Cincinnati Area Pipe Society. And we don't meet in Cincinnati. Which I joined in on the fun. No harm in fun. <laughs> but just to explain, it's Cincinnati, if you know. You have Ohio. Cincinnati's down here on the Ohio River. So it's called Cincinnati Area because it's about 15 minutes outside of Cincinnati. It's considered part of the Cincinnati Area, even though it is in Kentucky but so you know I'm not even from down there and you know I get it it's the Cincinnati area you know you go slightly across the river yeah you're still in Cincinnati because you can look across the river and you can see like Red Stadium and the Bengal Stadium but yeah I mean it was kind of funny but I was just explaining that you know it's just we meet in Kentucky but yes it's still the Cincinnati area pipe society and not the Florence Kentucky pipe society but anyway so um, that was some of my favorite favorite moments. Uh, hope you guys watched this. Sorry about the long ramble. But anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I will be doing my 100 sub contest drawing this weekend. See you guys.